today I'm headed to Casa Grand Domes. Um, they have out there a, um, I did my research, they have some domes that was built in the 80s. They were never, com they were never completed because the company that built them was based in California. And what that company did was they got in trouble because they were polluting the the ground they were just dumping chemicals on the floor and drains so they law they went out of business because of that um, they had a, a safety hazard I guess um, environmental safety hazard um, so that company went out of business and that was the same company that was um, building these buildings building these these structures um, it's supposed to be like a microchip um, some boards I think there was like four buildings built it's just an abandoned building there's nothing it's not a ruins it's a just a business privately owned by a family that bought it for $750,000 and since um, they own a business, I guess it's a business land, so they're responsible to keep up with any trash, so I guess locals around here would go there and trash it and dump things and to avoid a city citation they would have to go there themselves or pay a cleaning company to clean it up so it says no trespassing but I've watched a lot of videos on it and people go there and there's open fans um, so I'm hoping they don't I don't know I hope they don't get caught and get kicked out um, hopefully they'll They'll let me go with just a warning and don't come back and well this will be my only trip so I won't come back. It's right here. These are the Casa Grande Domes. It's private property. These are it. People party. Cast grand people used to party here. So I know that a lot of videos there's a turn off right here. And there's a walking fence over there. So I'm gonna go over there. And uh, hopefully no one sees me. Hopefully I don't get stuck. I should have brought a different vehicle. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm not sure what type of mud this is. Alright, I'm gonna get out and see how what I can do. Ah, wish I had all wheel drive. Hopefully my auto won't be that too messed up by the wind. So here it is. It's pretty good artwork. There's like a good echo in here. Um, this part, this, I can hear echo. Cool. So this part caved in a long time ago. So 
somewhat dangerous to go in here, but I may be doing like a wind, rain that pushed it down. Um, they're supposed to demolish this because people come here and that's weird because there's like an echo. So I'm not really going to touch anything, I'm just going to observe it. See those cracks? They say that um, the way they shape... Oh my god, don't see me. They say that the way they shaped the inside was that um, they got a big balloon, like a paper mache, paper mache. Um, they blew it up um, and then they plastered it all the way around until it got hard and then they just made it thicker and thicker and thicker. That's the research that I found. That's Cassegrade Mountains and that's where I went hiking. This is pretty good art. I'm not sure what this character is. Oh, I hear it in the mouth, getting into the hole. So here is another dome. And it's longer. Hopefully this one's... Here, see how thick these walls are? It's not that thick. I figured it'd be it's like seven inches, eight inches. They said they used to do like rituals, but I doubt it, you know, because the echo is here. That part is um, cracked, it's leaking. It rained recently, glass, yeah, I was saying um, people, people used to party here, I guess Casa Grande locals, and there's my car. People say there's a, a weird feeling here, but I don't get that. Alright, so there's a weird echo. Like if I say something, it just bounces back. So I bet you it would be cool like if like a someone who's saying. It sounds like an intercom has like one of those echoing. And then not right here. Right here is not too bad. But once I get right here, right here, right here is where it really echoes. It's weird. It's like I'm on an intercom. Oh! Going through one. I seen a video where a girl climbed on these and All right, so this one looks very stable because see how thick this wall is? They had to actually use CMU bricks with this one. So I feel a lot safer in here. Um, I'll give you a tour. Just graffiti, paint. I seen a car parked here before I got here. Ish, a robbery. Rock stacking, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but you find those a lot of, you can find a lot of those on the hiking trails. The all same eye. Yeah, so I was saying earlier that um, they're supposed to demolish this and I've always seen videos on it, and I was just, I thought it was further away. 
and I could not get to it, but it's just right off the road. There's a cat. Smelly cat. Smelly cat. Angela, baby girl. Jazz. So it looks like they were about to build more. Um, sorry about the wind. I don't have a wind cover. Let me see. So this is the foundation. See, it's very similar to this. That goes in, goes out. So they had two, three more going. In Arizona, is a good place for electronics because our environment were dry and there's not a lot of moisture in the air. Um, so it's a good place for electronics because I think it's 30% um, humidity. Once it reaches that point, this, when we have to stop working. When it rains, so we have to keep an eye on the humidity. Since it's too dry, we have a humidifier on top of our roof. And it maintains a level that re they require. Um, Come in here because it's easier to talk. There's not much wind noise. Yeah, I know Intel shuts down when it's when there's a haboob because of the dust particles and it's cracking right there. So. Yeah, I was, I was observing the other one is that from those foundation is that I don't notice any like reinforcing rebar coming up through here so eventually these will fall down as it's being weathered down i thought that said scoot in <laughs> all right Pretty good artwork here. on a shoe fireworks I'm not going there because I don't know what's underneath animals birds All right, so I'm gonna review my video and if it's up to par and I won't have to come back and this will be my only trip. So this is the only one I had planned for me so far. Does anybody have any ideas of where I could travel next? I know there's caves in Tucson and there's a caves in Flagstaff that I wanna see but it's too cold. So yeah, anybody have any ideas of where I can go next? Maricopa Cascade area. Um, I have to get in shape for um, Picacho, Picacho Peak. That is a really big mountain. Maricopa 
maybe shorter, 45 minutes. Um, I watch videos on it, it takes about two, three hours. Taking your time. I see normal people do it, so you don't have to be super in shape. There's ropes, so that helps you. So. Uh, now, I'm gonna have to see if I can get through this one and back home. 